husband and I moved to Wakefield five years ago, specifically to move to a creative community. And we really felt that the people here, the atmosphere is really soulful and really conducive to art creation. Uh, there's just so much going on within the community. So it's really inspiring for me as a figurative artist to be doing paintings of the people that live here. I have always worked with oil paint, uh, oil on canvas, oil on board. Um, but I love the way that oil paint is really expressive. The colors are really vibrant. When I'm in a rut, I just make sure that I just continue to get myself in my studio. I usually set up a schedule for myself so that I'm at least an hour a day just continuing to work through that on anything. So even if I don't feel inspired or I don't know what I'm doing or what project is next, just continuing to get into the studio and practice helps me to move through being stuck. What's important for me in terms of what my work says really is about how it impacts other people. I really believe that human connection is extremely important. I feel like we live in a world where there's so much exterior going on, so much focus on who we are, what we do, what we look like, everything like that. So I want in my work people to look at it and feel a connection to the person that they're seeing, that's the subject matter in the painting, and it sparks something for them about them being human and what does that connection mean to them? Something deeper, something more spiritual than just the physical. The elements that I think make an art community strong are just the people within the community being open to exploring different forms of art. So that's why I love living in Wakefield so much because there's musicians, there's visual artists, there's theater, there's writing, there's just food, even all the restaurants in town. There's just so much uh, dedication to just exploring art and sharing it together. And I feel that that's what makes this community so fantastic and such a wonderful place to live. I was really fortunate. I grew up in a very creative family. Both my parents are actors. I've always been painting and drawing ever since I was in kindergarten. Anytime I'd start to explore different avenues of life, my parents were always nudging me constantly to be like, how's your painting going? How's your drawing going? They always were on top of me about it. So for me, it was something that I was able to really incorporate into my life on a, on a regular basis. And now I can't imagine a day going by without having it in my life. It's, it's just part of who I am. I just completed these two large scale paintings of both of my sons. I've always enjoyed working on a bigger scale. And over the years, I've tended to work smaller only because it's just more convenient. But working on these two large scale pieces made me realize that there's a real impact when you see the full scale of the person presented. It really makes you feel like you're sitting with the person. I believe art is so important because it's what makes us human. And it's cheesy, but it's true. If you took away your favorite book, your favorite movie, your favorite music. If you eliminated that from your life, life would feel pretty boring and robotic. It makes you explore all the facets that make us human. I think I would just say, just continue to practice. Don't worry so much about the career aspect of it, even though that's really hard to do because that's part of life. I would say it's just a matter of getting the painting going, getting the painting moving just producing because in the production of it you're stepping into that part of yourself that is important and is creative but that process in and of itself is worthwhile and so not to get hung up on all the other stuff even though that's very hard to do but that would be the advice i'd give